Well, I think I think the important thing for anybody who wants to head up a social entrep uh, enterprise or go into business, they have to be very clear in what their business plan is, what their strategy will be, what their strategy is over the three, five year plan, what their exit strategy is going to be, and be very clear about what their strengths are. Are they able to manage the, the commerciality side of a business? Are they able to manage the media engagement side of the business? Are they able to manage the day-to-day -day running of the business if they've got other things to do? And until you get all of those things clear, right up front, you won't have a clear pathway of where you want to be traveling to. Now, it's important um, that you know we're honest with ourselves and see what our strengths are. But it's also important that we don't undersell ourselves, that we don't actually have a bigger ambition than what we maybe think we should have, and we don't take knockbacks as failure. You know, the world of commerce, whether it's for social activity or for profit, actually you have to knock on many, many doors before you're actually going to get somebody who's going to be interested in what you're delivering. You're in a space crowded with rivals and competitors, even in social enterprise. So it's really important to look at where your collaborators are. It's also important to look at some partners that may be just very different to you. So, you know, I mean, if you're selling a, an item of clothing, you may want to look at somebody in the food sector who may be supportive of you because one, you're not clashing, but secondly, it allows them to join into something that is part of their CSR. You need to look at financial institutions that have a green arm. They have to then justify why they wouldn't want to support you. You have to challenge things. You have to wonder why when people don't respond back to you, what's your next step? Have you approached the right person? Do you need to go above them? Do you need to make sure that that organization knows that you exist with a product that they should be having, but because the response back has been so poor, that you obviously um, aren't interested and please justify why you're not interested. So I think we've got to be quite brave about things. Um, the great thing about being in an enterprise is you meet other people and it's about how you avail those networks. How do you make sure that if you're not very good at bookkeeping and somebody in the networks is, how they can support you and being much more effective, efficient in the way you produce your profit and loss sheets. So it's really about thinking well through a plan before you start it. How are you going to exit it? What happens if you fall sick? What happens if suddenly your, your, your turnover goes from half a million to two million? What's your processes in place to manage it? So all of those things have to be thought out.